The last video for the topic of the integumentary system will briefly describe some of the important structures of the hair and the fingernails. Let's first start with hair. The hair itself, itself is called a pillus. The pillus is found inside of a tube called the hair follicle. The shaft is the portion of the hair that protrudes from the skin surface, where the root is the portion found below the skin surface. The hair itself has a few important layers. We describe the hair matrix as the mitotically active cells that are found deep down at the very base of the hair these cells, mitotically active, allow our hair to grow. When we think of the hair as a whole, we have three layers. The medulla, or the core, the cortex, and then the outermost region known as the cuticle. Now if we look at a drawing and an actual microscope image, we can identify some of these different structures. So let's look at the real microscope image. The very center is known as the medulla. Then we have the cortex. And then the very outer edge of the hair is going to sit nicely here, wrapped in the hair follicle. The bulb and the matrix is all this part here. So what I'm circling is going to be the area of the hair where you have mitotically active cells that can regenerate. So remember we talked about the fact that the hair is actually an extension of the epithelial tissue of the epidermis even though it is housed within the dermis. So if you look closely at these skin cells, you'll see these are squamous epithelial cells. The hair itself does have associated nerve fibers. So you actually do have sensation. You can feel when your hair moves, you feel when something's crawling on you, when the wind is blowing your hair. You also have a very small muscle known as the erector, sometimes erector pili muscle, which is a small muscle made, smooth muscle, that attaches to the follicle. What this does is allows your hair to stand up. Have you ever got a chill or you've been scared and it physically feels like your hair stands up? That is actually a warning system. Your hair is able to stand up. So if I go back to this drawing, that is your erector pili muscle described here, actually holding on to that hair follicle on the outside so that you have sensation with your hair. Hair color and texture is genetic. The color comes from the amount of melanin that is naturally produced and placed into your hair. The curliness of your hair, um, and that actually can get quite complicated. It has to do with how the proteins are arranged and the amount of disulfide bonds that you have. Now looking at the structure of the fingernail. The fingernail has the hard part of the nail, and that is called your nail plate. The nail bed is the skin underneath the nail plate. The nail matrix is what we call the growth zone. That's the part of the nail that is going to be um, thicker and growing. Okay. So if I flip to a picture, we don't have a lot of structures here to identify, but just to show you, here's your nail root. Underneath the skin, the cuticle hanging over. The nail body is the major part of the nail. 
and then you have the free edge. The nail body, nail root, and free edge all make up the nail plate. The nail bed is the skin underneath, and only the nail matrix portion is where you're going to see growth of the nail.